So recently, all three of my channels here in YouTube have been demonetized, and I can reapply in a couple of weeks for monetization. And I know exactly what it would take for me to become once again eligible. But unfortunately, that would also mean that I can't talk about what I want to talk about. That would also mean that, at least to me, I would become mundane, boring, unoriginal, average, run-of-the-mill. And we're not having that. So as long as YouTube will have me, I'm going to speak the truth on this channel and my other ones. Not to say that I will never make mistakes, because opinion and facts are two different things, but we're going to do our best. Anyway, so many years ago, it would seem by now, I called the whole Povietkin thing as soon as it was happening. Because to me, it was obvious what was happening. It's come out. Everything is out in the open. And we all know what happened. Those of us that care to know the truth. Interestingly enough, whenever they talk about Povietkin, it would seem they're still yapping on about going on about how, you know, he's got that PED thing going on. Which was very interesting to hear, for example, Sergio Mora say exactly that with regards to his spectacular win against Dillian White. And yet, not a peep out of this cocksucker when it comes to Dillian White, right? Who also failed, well, multiple drug tests, except that dude failed for real. I mean, just look at them bitch tits, right? Obvious signs of PED abuse. Anyway, I told you guys that the Sergei Kavalyov accuser, the whole case was just going to get swept under the rug. It was going to disappear because he laid down like a good puppy in front of Canelo, served himself up as a sacrificial lamb on that plate for Canelo to look spectacular for those who don't know shit about boxing, okay? Canelo is a shot fighter. Not to say he's completely useless, but he can't be nobody worth a damn. Let me guess, and I haven't been following boxing, but let me guess, it's been extremely difficult for Canelo to negotiate any fights, right? He doesn't know which division he's fighting in. He's talking to all these guys, and somehow nothing is panning out, right? Gee, I wonder why that is. Well, most of them probably ain't willing to lie down. Because he ain't got shit on them. Like he did Sergey. When this first happened, I told you it was going to go away. It was going to get swept under the rug. And I still think Sergey one day will write a book telling us exactly what happened. <clears throat> the whole thing seemed fake from the very beginning, as I stated on BDA, boxing, and maybe in some video on this channel as well, that when Jamie Kuntz, was it? Franz, whatever. Um, when she accused him of breaking her nose and, you know, kicking her dog and all that stuff, I went to her social media, Twitter, and I looked at her photos from right around that time period, and she had no black eyes, no broken nose. <clears throat> I think she also said he broke a vertebrae in her neck, like... The lady would have been busted up had any of that actually happened, right? No, no signs of any of that. She had a neck brace or whatever, but I mean, you break you break a woman's nose, you give her at least one black eye, right? Just by breaking, like, this is just what happened. But no, none of, none of that stuff. So it, it seemed fake to me from the very beginning. There was also some photo of her working out in the gym, you know, within days of this alleged incident. So, I mean, come on. Come on, did he grab her ass, maybe? Did he, you know, act a fool at the club or something? Eh, maybe, I don't know. Did he really beat her up the way she said he did? I don't believe so. Because, well, let's read a little bit. 
Sergei Kavalev appears to have one less legal wrangle to worry about. The former light heavyweight title holder is no longer the subject of a breach of contract lawsuit filed in January by Jamie Fronts, the woman who accused him of beating her in June 2018 after rebuffing his romantic advances after she dropped the suit on her own accord. France had sued Kavalev in January for allegedly failing to honor the terms of their settlement, which called for the Russian to pay France $650,000 over a period of time in three installments. France sent a voluntary dismissal notice to the District Court of California on August 24th. Plaintiff, Jamie France, hereby dismisses all causes of action in the complaint against defendant Sergei Kavalev without prejudice, France's lawyer wrote. She could refile the lawsuit on a later date if he, should he, or if she chooses to do so, should he choose to fight Canelo again, right? Obviously. The Cavalier front fiasco dates back to 2018 when blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she sued him for something like $10 million. They settled out of court for 650 He paid her 200000 and then just skipped town, said forget you, and then she drops, oh wait, 250 grand. His promoter paid it, right? He never paid anything. His promoter paid the lady. And then, that's it. No mas. (laughs) He's a foul dude, says somebody, right? He was never convicted of anything. But, you know, the tales will go on, and these cocksuckers will keep keep telling, talking nonsense, because, well, I mean, let's just keep it real. They're fucking racist. (sighs) He needs extensive and prolonged obligatory therapy. Obligatory therapy, right? This is what these people want. This is what these people want the world to look like, right? Mandated medical treatment, right? This cocksucker is going to bend over and take it up the ass. When when they give him that vax, he's going to be all over that, right? The government said I had to take it. This is, this is the world we live in. Sad. Right? No one's saying, wait a minute. She sued him for $10 million because he did terrible damage to her face, right? Beat her up. Innocent, nice, innocent lady. Sued him for 10 mil, settled for 650, got 250, not even from Sergey himself, and drops the lawsuit. I mean... (laughs) Any idiot could have predicted this. The problem with society today is that Most people aren't even that smart. Thanks for watching.